Ladies and gentlemen of the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, Joe Biden is over in Europe and he said, quote, he's having such a good time, I don't want to go home. Well, Joe, nobody's stopping you. Why don't you just stay over there? Do you not agree? If Joe wants to stay in your, and why, just think about that. Why would Joe feel so much more comfortable in Europe? They're a little more socialist than we are here. Uh, inflation. Inflation hit 5% in April. We know it hasn't slowed down in May and June, right? That is worse than 2008, 2009 when we had our economic calamity. Somebody, I think, said it's like one of the fastest growth since the Great Depression. Now you can throw in good old utilities even to the number because under the corporate tax plan, apparently utility is going to go up. Now, just think about what inflation does. Food, gas, everything. Who's it hurt the most? The poor guys. The people that the Democrats act like that they care so much about. Uh, the Islander fans. This could only happen in a hockey game. By the way, I read something recently where like the hotel staff ranked and rated celebrities and athletes and professionals, and they said hockey players were the nicest folks, hands down, amongst all the athletes, all the celebrities, etc. In fact, hockey is the only sport where after somebody scores a goal, they run to each other as teammates versus running away from everybody like they do in all the other sports. But there was a hitch with the microphone with a woman singing the national anthem and all the Islander fans pitched in and sang the national anthem. And you know what? Have we seen kneeling in hockey? No. It's just great. Go hockey. Old time hockey. I love the Hanson brothers. Uh, El Salvador. Tucker Carlson reported the other night that El Salvador is now safer than Baltimore and Chicago. Who would have thunk? That's the way it is. Putin and Biden are going to have a meeting. Did you see what Trump said? Trump said, don't fall asleep and give me my best regards. That's a pretty good line. CNN let Jeffrey Tobin come back, but not only did they let Jeffrey Tobin come back, he had to sit there at a desk where a female reporter who used to be on Fox News recounted everything that happened and what he did and everything else. I mean, the guy waxed his willy during a show and he's allowed back on CNN. Such standards, such standards. There's only one reason why I think these people must survive. They got dirt on everybody else in the place. Blackmail, it has to be the only reason. Uh, Kamala, okay, keep bringing up this issue about her visiting the border, and she acts like it's no big deal. Circumstances have changed dramatically since she last went to the border in 2018. But it's this simple reason why she needs to go to the border and should have went to the border 80 days ago. Anybody that knows, I'm going to give you an example, in law, okay? In the law business, there's nothing like seeing. If you have a car accident that's in dispute, there's nothing like going out to the scene. If you're a cop, instead of sitting behind your desk, you like to go out to see the scene. There's, there's no substitute for actually going. There's none. That's what it's all about. Uh, China, good old China. It's being revealed that China has torture chambers, uh, genital torture, uh, that they're really torturing Muslims, so forth and so on. Where's America? Where's the media? Where's Biden? And did you hear about this at the big G7 yesterday? Uh, France, Germany, and company they don't really see what the big deal is about China. They want stronger relations with China. What happened to America being the leader? United States being the world leader? It's a bunch of gobbledygook. Uh, infrastructure, there looks like there's a deal that's been struck. Uh, I hate it because it obviously was Mitt Romney, Susan Collins and company. But uh, there will be some infrastructure deal that will be done. God only knows what's in it. The squad. 
the Democratic congressional leadership took a shot at the squad and Oman's comments about Hamas, you know, the United States, so forth and so on. Well, what's the squad do? They hit back. They call it anti-blackness and Islamophobia. And they're accusing the Democratic leadership of that. Wow. Don't you love them when they're all fighting? Media. The mainstream media has completely ignored Hunter Biden and the N-word diatribe. His N-word festival. I mean, where he goes off. Ignored. Just completely ignored. Shocking hell no. They're part part of the communist end. As I go through these every day, You'll start realizing what I mean about the American Communist 10 always working together. They're never at odds. I'm going to have some more stories coming up to prove it. Uh, The Texas border wall, Governor Abbott has decided hell with the feds. I'm going to do fencing and border myself. Good for Texas. Keep it up. Caitlyn Jenner was on The View. Now here she is, Miss Transy. And she refused to say that Biden won the election. Whoa, whoa, she's going to be the next, it's going to be wild. Caitlyn Jenner is going to be the next governor of California. Uh, Anthony Weiner is back and it's revealed not only is Huma Abedin, that was announced, is doing a book, imagine that, but Weiner Man is back on the website Confide or the dating site or whatever the hell it is, I don't know, Confide, which is the same site that got him in trouble with the young girls. Wiener never learns. <laughs> Bill Clinton, I love this story. Bill Clinton says, aliens might be true. There really might be some aliens out there. You know, I think. Don't you miss Bubba? I mean, come on. Bubba was so much better than Obama, Hillary, Biden. I mean, come on, he made deals with Newt. But he was also entertaining, wasn't he? Thank you, Bulldog. I appreciate that. Uh <laughs> oh, you can't, this is a great one. Remember that lawyer, that scumbag lawyer that represented Stormy Daniels? Yep. Uh, he's back in the news. He's been sentenced. And <laughs> Evan Eddy, he says that he should not get a harsh sentence because he's already been publicly shamed enough. Well, guess what? If that was the standard, don't all these people get publicly shamed? Oh, I, this guy got his canuppins. What a scumbag. Stealing from clients. I mean, he was just it re- announcing he's going to run for president. You talk about a guy whose ego went, and, and what? CNN liked him. They wanted him to run. <laughs> Public shaming isn't good enough for you. Uh, airline passengers. Allegedly, airline passengers, I don't know who measures this, who keeps track of this, are 5% fatter now, and it's causing problems <laughs> with the airline industry. But how come people didn't stay in shape during the pandemic? Yeah, time to work out. Uh, Mark Cuban, here's another example of the American Communist 10. Mark Cuban, who I can't stand, Dallas Mavericks lost. Yes, I love it. He says banning Trump was the right thing to do. See, member of the American Communist 10 pro sports team, banning Trump, hooking up with tech. Yep, right thing to do. $400 billion. $400 billion was allegedly stolen by Russians, Chinese, bad actors of our unemployment benefits. I mean, there's nobody watching, managing, and protecting this country. It's scary as hell. I mean, guard is down. I'm going to give Oracle status to Chuck Holbrook, the underboss of the Bulldog Mafia, because he took the uh, assignment of calculating how much 500 million of these Pfizer vaccines would cost at $14.70. It would be 7 billion, 350 million. That's what we're going to give away to all these countries. And the G7 collectively are going to match that. Uh, Insulin EpiPen discounts that Trump had, lower the prices, Biden's reversing it. So all you that got those insulin and EpiPens, you're going to just love it. By the way, my Sunday show, you're going to enjoy because it's about the Trump debacle. 
uh, against him. Uh, Warren, Senator Elizabeth Warren says, Bitcoin is causing climate change. We can blame it all on Bitcoin now. What are we? Come on, is it the cows? Is it fossil fuels? Is it Bitcoin? Come on, Elizabeth. Pick something. Stick with it. Uh, hydroxychloroquine and zinc apparently gives 200%, 200% better survival rate. Late stages of the disease, coronavirus. Another. Trump's a crazy guy, right? Last but not least, do you realize we are forcing vaccinations in young people to go back to college, go to school, whatever? And there are reports now about some serious implications about that. And these kids don't generally get the coronavirus. And if they do, they don't die. But we're going to force them to get a vaccine. It's sad. This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. I got some good stuff coming this weekend.